Welcome back to Broken Sword. Let's go check out the museum. I guess nothing to look out out here. Might as well head inside. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Are you Lobino? Oh, no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. No. I am the deputy custodian. But Lobino does work here. Work? I wouldn't go so far as to call it that. He studies here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. So, uh, there's no, no one to help me now. I, I guess you'll have to do. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. N not a sausage? Is that a common phrase in France or Europe or anywhere? Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no. They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is I am no scholar. Not like Monsieur Lobino. Uh, yeah, I could see him being a, a valet or, or maybe like a security guard. Do you recognize this ID pass? No. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? Oh no, I don't frequent places like that. So you have heard of it then, because you said places like that. Let's shake hands. Would you like to shake my hand? Uh, not while I'm on duty, monsieur. Is that some weird custom where you can't shake hands while you're at a job? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. Have you seen this man? No? Then let's fight. Thanks for your help. In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. A notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marn at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ireland! Was that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Why is bothering you? Because there's no one else around. Blah, 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 blah. The box or the window? A metal rod attached to the wall was connected to the window. Oh. The totem pole looked distinctly out of place in the setting of the museum. The totem pole look Watch out! You will have that done on top of us! It was an ancient Egyptian sarcophagus with a beautifully painted effigy of its owner on the lid. Leave it alone. That closet is over 3,000 years old. Closet? It's a sarcophagus. Hmm, maybe I could, uh... Attention! Please don't... Don't you think it's kind of better stuffy than dead? What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. 
there's a new burger bar opened up across the street. The Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a charcoal grill. And the fat falls on the open flame. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pyre. That is why I keep the windows closed. So it annoys you. Then I'm going to do it again. This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. Well, it's a good way to hide until closing hours so I can take this thing. As I reached toward the display case, a shrill piping filled the air. I froze. Then tried to get myself together and act nonchalantly. No, mischief. No, eh, no. Okay, okay. Okay, so I guess I can't steal priceless artifacts from the museum. But apparently I can hide in sarcophaguses and push totem poles around. And open the window to annoy the guy. Hi, I've been to the crew museum. Did you speak to Labino? No, he wasn't there. But... I found a tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Marne. I have heard of Loch Marne. I read an article about the castle. Take a look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine? You read that rubbish? No, I write it. Professor Nigel Pegram excavating the medieval castle at Loch Marne. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Not only that, but he canceled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marne must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history, Daryl Cuckoo. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belota case. If you really think Pegram's dam is important, why don't you visit Lochman? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Where is Ireland exactly? North. Just go to the fucking airport and get a plane there. You don't need to know where it is. You're not flying the plane. Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, but I can't imagine it was coincidence. The second week of July, like that translated note we found was talking about? Let's take another look at the manuscript. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Uh, I, I guess there's more I have to look at. A knight with a crystal ball. The knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. There's a guy working on a loom. Why can I not exit out of this? Oh. Look there, two guys on the same horse. 
Okay, that's all I needed to leave out of that. Okay. Ah, uh, well I then. Have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Let's head off on a trip to Ireland. There's an airport, right? Oh, there's the airport. But what will we find in Ireland? Will we find the gem? Or will we find danger? Find out next time.